Welcome back here at the LaSalle Hotel, live, coming to you for Halloween. Room 604. Downtown Brian. Exactly, because it's a little haunted here. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, we have been teasing you guys about this all week. Is the LaSalle Hotel in downtown Brian haunted by guests who have checked in but have never checked out? Our digital A team, Alyssa and Adrian, have spent the last few weeks with the staff doing some ghost research and some hunting of their own. Uh, last night, they actually checked into a room. Check out what happened. The moment we have all been waiting for has arrived. The cold and rainy night sets the scene for a spooky night at the LaSalle Hotel. Greeted by the night audit, we soon hand over our souls to the spirits that might abide there. Our minds race with the words the manager of the hotel told us earlier. Our senses are heightened and we are on the lookout for strange whispers and objects moving on their own. Several employees have told us about the hauntings they witnessed, and now it's our turn to experience them firsthand. What a setup. Seriously? <laughs> 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 oh! Hello! Hey. Hi! Thank you for having us. Joined by some of the KAG's crew, the beginning of the night is off to a fun start, but the possibility of it turning paranormal looms over us. Or maybe just Alyssa. If there's more, or if you want more, there is more. We'll just go. Nothing, Adrian. <laughs> Like, it's almost one o'clock, six till. Um, no ghost sounds, no spooky things. No, not, not like blatantly. Not like, ooh, tell me. <laughs> no, nothing, I'm just scared. <laughs> We're watching whose line is it anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Alyssa's about to dip. Yeah, I'm gonna head out, sorry y'all. So, I guess I will update y'all if anything else happens. It's 1.45. Um, Gabby just left. I don't think anything's gonna happen, but I also don't really want to take my chances. It is 2.09. And, um, nothing's really going on. There's this loud banging noise, but it's because, um, an advertisement for Mayor has been blown down because of the wind outside, and he keeps banging against something. Good morning. It's like 7.30 right now. I'm up early so I can get all the equipment back to the station. Nothing spooky that I know of happened. I mean, I guess we'll see if any of the cameras caught anything. While we may not have experienced any paranormal activity, we can't for sure say it isn't haunted. You'll just have to come and find out for yourself. From the LaSalle Hotel, I'm Adrian. And I'm Alyssa, KAG's News. KAG's News, who has a KAG's News out? Do we need to go? All right, we are back from that package. But anyway, okay, so how was it? If you could describe it to me, like give me the Cliff's Notes version. Did you discover any apparitions? I'll go with you, Alyssa, and then Adrian. I mean, I was just scared in general. I was really paranoid. So I can't really, the whole time I was like on edge. And so every little noise freaked me out. So that's why I left early, as she you saw. Did. Yes, I was actually there for a little bit, um, which was fun. I didn't really feel anything. Adrian, what about you? No, I was just chilling. It was, <laughs> it was fun. I got a night at the hotel. You all did hear a noise, though, right? Yeah, there was a thumping. One of the mayor advertisements um, fell down because the wind was blowing oh. really Hard. But also, yeah, I guess the one in the video, something yeah. fell. Yeah, we don't know what it was. But so that might have been a ghost. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I remember it was definitely a spooky night. Lots of wind and stuff. It made for a great, I guess, atmosphere for the whole night you guys were trying to do. Um, if you could do it over again, 
Do you think you'd stay? No. <laughs> Adrian, real quick. Oh, hey, yeah, 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 I would. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> we got sports up next. Stay with us for some spooky Justin. Oh. <laughs>